Hi there, I'm Natalie. And I'm Miguel. Welcome to Click Spain Tours. Ronda is a beautiful town with a lot of history, which has hosted celebrities such as Orson Welles and Ernest Hemingway. Stay with us and let's find out more about Ronda. Come on! The history of Ronda goes way back in time but when it most gained importance was during the medieval times and this was during the reign of the Nasrid dynasty from their kingdom in Granada. Then, in the 15th century, Ronda was reconquered by the Spanish Catholic King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, who brought changes to the town's infrastructure. In the 18th century, two of the most emblematic buildings of Ronda's modern era were erected, the New Bridge and the ball ring. In the 19th century, Ronda started to consolidate its romantic appeal in the time of the bandits that used the mountains in the surroundings to hide from the law, and it is when bullfighting gained popularity. Also, it was when travellers started making their way through this beautiful town. One of Ronda's iconic lookout points is found within the Paseo de Blas Infante. From this mirador you can enjoy the amazing views of Ronda's mountain range. Here is where the stories of Ronda's bandits, or bandoleros in Spanish, took place, known for the firearms they carried, the blunderbuss, and their attire. For some, they were heroes in the likes of Robin Hood, helping the needy, and for others, there were murderous criminals hiding from the law. I guess we'll leave that for you to decide. Ronda is considered to be one of the birthplaces of modern bullfighting in Spain. We know that not everybody agrees with this practice but we can't ignore its importance and presence in our culture and our history. And Ronda's ball ring, built in 1785, is one of the oldest in the country. It has a spectacular design, built in stone with a grand, elegant appearance. The origins of bullfighting is actually rather interesting, and of course also a bit uncertain. But we know that it goes back, at least to the Middle Ages, during the time when the Real Maestranza of Ronda was also established. If you would like to watch a renowned Malaguenian bullfighter on horseback performing in a brief flamenco equestrian show, why don't you watch our Christmas special video in which we filmed José Antonio Mancebo accompanied by dancers for you to enjoy some of our Spanish culture. The new bridge, El Puente Nuevo, is probably the most representative and recognised monumental building of Ronda. It certainly is an outstanding engineering masterpiece. It was built in the 18th century and it took over 40 years to be completed 
after a first failed attempt of a smaller bridge to connect the old part of town with its expansion across the gorge. The Puente Nuevo is around 98 metres high, built with rocks taken from the bottom of the Tajo Gorge, which makes it blend perfectly in its setting. Hi there. Hey. So because of the global pandemic right now, the places we wanted to visit mainly are over the weekend time, so from Thursday to Sunday. So we've realised we're going to have to come back to Ronda another day, but for now we've decided lunch was a good idea. So I'm going to try the first tapa. It is smoked sardine with a cream of hold on there, payoyo. Mm. Delicious. So another thing that we are going to try are these little buns, whoops, which are filled with one of them has got bull's tail in, and the other one is called pringa, which is meat basically. So let's take a bite. Really good. And I'm also having some red wine from Ronda. Cheers. Okay, so we finished eating our first order and we thought, well, why don't we eat some more? And this time we've actually ordered a plate of bull's tail. For those who love meat, this is actually a speciality here in Ronda. So it's probably the meal that you should order. The main church building in Ronda is the Iglesia de Santa Maria la Mayor, found in the Duquesa de Parcent Square, where you will also find the town hall. The church was built upon the ruins of the old main mosque from the time of the Moors, of which there are still some remains. The construction of the church started in the 15th century at the reconquest of Ronda by the Catholic King and Queen and it wasn't finished until the beginning of the 18th century. The main facade of the building has two balconies which were used in past times to witness events that were held in the square. These days, the square is a pretty little park in honour of the Duchess of Parcent, who encouraged tourism in Ronda. Originally, the church was built in Gothic style, but due to an earthquake in 1580, part of the building was destroyed and was later rebuilt in Renaissance style. This later style can be admired in the heights of the ceiling at the top end of the church, with its impressive central columns. are able to walk up some steps, head up to the upper part of the church and you will be able to contemplate some of the most amazing views of Rhonda and its surroundings. Thankfully, it was a beautiful day when we went and some of the mountain tops were covered with snow.
The Casa del Rey Moro is a monumental complex, unique for its historical interest as a key location in the history of the reconquest of Ronda and its defence throughout the centuries. It consists of three parts, the house, the garden and the water mine. The house is an amalgamation of several 18th century homes, an idea conceived by the Duchess of Parcent, and the garden was designed for the Duchess by Jean-Claude Forestier in 1912. It is a Mediterranean-style garden which combines the elements of a classic Hispano-Moorish garden design with the geometric layout of a French garden. And then you have the water mine, an important relic of Ronda's Moorish occupation and one of the best preserved in Spain. To reach it, you will have to walk down a number of steep steps. On your way to the bottom, you will come across a number of chambers until you finally reach the bottom of the gorge, where you may be able to listen to the singing of birds and the quiet lapping of the water. The view was worth it. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of steps. And big ones. To remember one thing, to find your way out, you will have to retrace your steps all the way back up. Fancy visiting a spa whilst you're in Ronda? No, just kidding. Join us and we'll show you one of the best preserved Arabic thermal baths in Spain. Let's go. These spectacular Arabic thermal baths from the 13th and 14th century are really worth a visit. The construction of them was based on the adaptation of the ancient Roman baths. In them, you will be able to walk around and imagine what it must have been like back in the former glory. In the furthest chamber, which used to be the hot room, there is actually a short video you can watch that explains how they were used. Mucho tiempo ha pasado desde su creación allá por el año 711. Within the gardens, there is still the tower that was used in the past to collect water from the nearby river for the baths. Hey guys, well this is round two of lunch in Ronda because we just like eating. Yes, and we've discovered that food here is really tasty. Yes, so we recommend you go to the local places and give the food a try. This is chorizo al vino, that means done with wine and it's really tasty. This is called patatas bravas, very typical from Spain. Tasty. Okay, well this is uh, a little pork fillet in a bun with mojo picón. So let's give it a taste. Mmm, 
the mojo picón is really nice. A little bit spicy, but nice. Well, we've come to the end of Rhonda's A Shore Guided Tour. Rhonda has so much more to offer though, and many facts to be known. But we didn't want to bore you with too much information this time. So next time you're in Malaga and you'd like to visit Rhonda, why don't you contact us and we'll be able to give you a private guided tour. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Take care. And God bless. Until next time. Au revoir. Peter say hasta luego just to let you know make sure you do exercise when you want to come down and then back up these steps what you say Miguel it's super tiring keep fit that's our advice by the way if you like our new mask we got our logo yeah Keep fit, keep safe, keep the peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>